Welcome to Talking Tuesday. I am your host, Fancy Quant, and today we are going to just kick off here season five of the Talking Tuesdays with Fancy Quant podcast here. So a big thank you, first of all, uh, to everyone who's been involved in the podcast itself. I've been really excited that I've made it even to four seasons, uh, but now we're kicking off season five, Careers in Motion. So this season is going to be kind of an eclectic mix of jobs, careers, everything that's kind of crashing down around us here during the COVID times, during this post-COVID times. So some of the topics I'm going to cover, we will have at least one or two guests on the channel just to chat about their jobs, their careers, you know, quant finance, that sort of thing. But I'm also going to talk about leaving the workforce, the great resignation. So I didn't fully grasp I didn't fully understand the great resignation until I became a part of the great resignation here. So there's a lot of articles and I've spent a lot of time reading online thinking I'm going to like find this golden nugget of information on it. I'm going to get great insight and I've been wanting to make an episode on this for probably six months now, maybe a year, Um, but it's all just the same nonsense. So we will talk about that. We will talk also about a bunch of just job things and like the banking industry, for example, being turned on its head, which has been happening, but no one's kind of talking about that. Um, on top of that, now we have the SEC just shoving down the throats of banks and financial institutions, a bunch of environmental proposals that are trying to go through. And just to give you kind of a take on this, if you're not familiar with what's going on right now, Uh, The SEC has basically written a 490-page document. Uh, There are, of course, I'm just starting to go through this thing. Banks, I think, only have like a few months to go through it and give a response. And there are links and supports, like multiples in every page. And to do your due diligence in a real meaningful way, you're going to have to tear this thing apart into many, many pieces. It would take you far more than, you know, a few months to go through this. So, I'm not going to have time, just like the banks aren't going to have a lot of time to go through every single nuanced detail, but I'm going to go through this, I'm going to tear it apart, and we're going to look at what's going on with it. We're going to talk about ESG a bit, we're going to talk about the reasoning why on the face it looks very reasonable, it looks like something we should all be doing, and yet there are a lot of consequences behind it that people just aren't looking at because we have nice rose-colored glasses on, even though we have inflation economic crisis, wars globally, so all kinds of wars, right? There's more than the Ukraine-Russia war. There's the Yemen war. Uh, There's all kinds of issues in China, for example. There are issues in other countries in the Middle East. There's just a lot of things going on. And so we're going to try to dive in just on careers for this season. But I'm going to try to take apart careers a little bit from a different perspective, a little bit of dicey topics as well. Uh, Maybe I'll talk about hiring, for example. Some people have wanted me to talk a little bit about the hiring process, some hiring issues, and some things I'm not so happy with that's going on or actually goes on behind closed doors with a lot of the hiring here. But anyways, that's the intro. That's the kickoff. Careers in Motion, Season 5. Every Tuesday, this will release every popular podcasting app. Of course, if you're listening to this on a podcasting app, you know that. Uh, But if you're on YouTube as well, if you just want to listen to this on the go, this is on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, I think Pod Chasers, um, Stitcher, all the big ones. So anyways, thank you guys for getting us here to season five. I look forward to shooting a bunch of episodes and just kind of talking about careers in general and having a few other just great guests on the channel as well. So anyways, thank you. And as always, until next time.